Okay, so we're going to start off with periodic table stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about blocks. There is something called an S block. There's a P block. There's a D block. And there is an F block. So there are four different blocks. And when we get into different things like electron configuration and um, all sorts of craziness like that, we will talk more about what is represented by these blocks themselves. But first off, what I want to do is I want to take the S block. And we're going to start with the S block. And I'm going to highlight the S block in yellow. And the S block in yellow is here. It's the first two columns. So if you don't want to ruin your, well, this is the best way to do it. Just highlight those. And helium, the one element that's way over here, the helium over here, is also technically part of the S block. But it gets put way over to the other side uh, just because. So there's your S block. And if you want to, you can... You can say, all right, here I got my 1A, and this is called 2A. That is the name of the columns. Above there, you could just put S block. And if you want to put a little arrow down there, you can as well. Whatever makes you feel better about what's going on with that. Now, we're going to talk about P block. And P block, I'm going to use pink. Now P block is all the way over to your right. And over here to the right, well, first off, are we okay with S block? Everybody okay with the S block is basically the first two row the first two columns. The first the columns are called groups. So it's the first two groups. Over here. This guy is 3A, this guy is 4A, not 3A, that's 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A, and then over here is 8A. So those are all the A's. Now, down here, the last row is... Um, basically your unknowns. Those are the elements that we are just learning about that are being discovered in laboratories, things like that, that don't stick around for that long, that we're just given names to, all that kind of fun stuff. So that's they're not part of the P block. The P block is basically everything here And it just doesn't do that last row. So it's a nice little block here, and then you can just kind of color that in. My highlighters are starting to to scream at me that um, I've been using them too much. But we're going to do the best we can. That's all we can do. We can, all, oh, we can only do the best we can. So if you want to, you can um, do a little arrow here and say that's your P block. Remember, this is for you and this is for what you're going to use on a test. So. Um, you want this to be usable for you. And 
there are colored pencils in the back. There's a ton of them. Uh, there's a drawer full of them if you want to use those as well. Uh, now, down here in the in between regions between the S and the P block is what we call the D block. And it has a weird numbering as far as the columns go, the groups go. It starts with 3B, and then it goes 4B. Then it goes 5B, then 6B, 7B, and then there's three in a row that are all considered 8B, which we will examine later. And then, to make things worse, 1B and then 2B. So, it it starts at three, goes to goes to seven, then eight gets three of them, because I get eight. I guess eight is special, um, which we'll discover why later. And then um, then it goes back to one and two. Now that's your D block. So we're going to highlight that, or you're going to color code that in whatever color code you want to. And So we color code all of those, and that's your D block. Now, your unknown region here where all the weird elements are, there's even a couple down here, but they kind of fall into the D block. They just kind of stick right there. Now, these guys down here, this is your F block. So I'm going to have you, uh, I'll give you a second to do this. I'm going to do this really quick since I'm making a video of it and we don't have to waste a ton of time. I'll just kind of do it really fast. And so I can start the video and let you guys kind of catch up and take care of business. Take care of your business. Uh, say that again. Um, the first, just basically with the F blocks, the columns really don't matter too much, but they're all going to be green. Well, well, in mine they're green. But they're all the same color with that. They, they're they kind of taken out of the periodic table and changed um, into a different thing. So you got your S block, your P block. Helium's kind of part of the S block. You got your D block, and you got your F block. So that's your first part.